Constitutionally, in Croatia, church and state are separated. Unfortunately, there are many political parties that don't understand that. Okay, what do you think the march is going to result in, maybe? A few years ago, Croatia started to move in the right directions when we are discussing uh, human rights uh, in general, and uh, particularly LGBT rights. And uh, this march, if you ask me, is here to keep Croatia on the track. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, we're here with the Irish ambassador uh, to Croatia to comment a bit on the march in Zagreb. I'm delighted to be here today. I was delighted to be asked. Um, as you know, Ireland legalized gay marriage by a popular referendum, popular vote in 2015. And it was really part of a long process of, I suppose, more people um, coming to accept that you love who you love and you don't have a lot of choice about that. Um, it's a change that's happened in Irish society probably since the beginning of the millennium. Um, maybe the Celtic Tiger had something to do with it. People had more money, they travelled more, they had better experiences and it was part of Ireland beginning to feel that they were very European, more part of the world um, and that being Irish was cool and that, that led then to, I suppose, a more relaxed attitude being taken to social issues, um, people became less conservative and um, in relation to the referendum it was really people thinking about their children um, who might be gay um, and how they would feel if they weren't accepted by their parents. That was a huge driver actually, I think. Okay. Do you think the situation in Croatia is getting better? Or? Um, I, d I have been in Croatia since September. Okay. Um, this looks great. It looks open. It looks free. Um, I've been to the Super Super Club as uh -huh. well. Um, so I know that people um, can express themselves. But we all have to move forward and progress. And um, I think the key message...